Hello. Hey there. Is this Jackson's mommy? Yes, it is. Who's this? Name's Bruce Wangsfer, but all the kids call me Mr. Bruce. I'm your son Jackson's health teacher. <laughs> oh, yes, he was telling me about you. How are you? <laughs> I am not too bad. Listen, call today because we are about to start some new curriculum, and I need to get Madres and Padres approval on some things before we do. So can I spit at you for a moment? I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, you mind if I spit at you for a second? <laughs> oh, like the ideas that... <laughs> yeah, that's one of the words that I learned from the kiddos. So, got some oh. questions I want to spit towards your way. If you oh, get a my second. gosh. They say... I know, I can't keep up with everything they say. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah, they're tough to keep up with, but I got lots of energy, so that's good. <laughs> Yes, um, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to be laying down quite a bit of info here. So if you could also run it by the Padre, I'd appreciate it. Actually, I'm a single parent, so no need oh. for that. Okay, single mommy. <laughs> I like it. Strong woman alert. Strong woman alert. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Aruga, <laughs> even. What? Just a, a strong woman alert sounds I was making with my mouth. <laughs> No, I heard that. I just thought that was a little inappropriate. Oh, oh. Hey, chillax a little bit. I'm just messing with you, mommy, okay? So if I could you know, go you over... You can call me... You can call me by my last name, actually. You can call me Mrs. <laughs> okay, I just won't call you late for supper. How about that? <laughs> Boy, you're... Mm, okay. All right. So you had a point to the phone yes. call? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, the whole reason I'm calling is because we are about to get into the sensitive subject of sex education with children. And I want to prepare all the parents because I know that the subject of sex can be kind of a touchy thing, if you get my drift. <laughs> be a little touchy. <laughs> Okay, that was a that was a joke there. I was making a, a joke. Yeah, about well, that. I don't think that teaching children about sex, that is a joking matter. Really? Okay. All right. So, well, just for your information, we just had this conversation not very long ago. Okay. And so I'm sure that everything that you're going to cover in school is he's going to be fine with. Perfect. He's a very he's a mature kid. Well, that's good to know. And like I was saying, first, we're going to start with the basics before we move on to any of the harder stuff, you know? <laughs> the harder stuff? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, like, how to plan the perfect swingers party and that kind of Wait, stuff. Because I think that's completely inappropriate for children. I can't imagine that that's a part of your actual curriculum. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down, all right? No, and you're I not going to be you're... teaching my son anything about Swinging. He doesn't oh. know what swinging is. He thinks that, okay. I, and I don't want him to know what that is. That's totally inappropriate. And I'm assuming the subject of waterbeds is off limits too. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> you are not going to talk to my child or any of these children about sex education and how it relates to waterbeds. What are you, some kind of pervert? Whoa, hey, hey, pervert. That's a strong word. Well, that's what you are. I mean, you're talking about a lot of freaky stuff when it comes to teaching our children. Okay. I think I get where you're coming from again. You want to be the one to have the conversation about waterbeds with your son. No. Is that no right? one is going to have a conversation about waterbeds with my child. Well, I think it's important for children to know that waterbeds can actually do a lot of the work for you if you roll with the tide. You oh know what I mean? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to get you fired. Oh. So that's no joking matter. <laughs> you go ahead and get me fired because you just got me fired up. <laughs> no, Seems no. like Mama Bear is mad. You think Arr. this is a joke, but I am seriously going to burn your ass. I'm going to get you fired, Whoa. sir. Whoa. <laughs> now we are talking. Mr. Bruce kind of likes it when you get a little angry. What is wrong with you? Your job is on the line. You are going to get fired. You're done teaching. You hear me? Well, it's, it's a good thing I'm not a teacher at all, then. <laughs> Wait, what? Can't get fired from a job you don't have. Ow. <laughs> Am I right? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your son Jackson set you up. Well, are you serious? <laughs> yes. <sighs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your son emailed me and said that you guys had the talk the other day, so he wanted me to freak you out. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. 
I, but I am surprised you haven't had the waterbed talk with him yet. Oh, my God. That is not nice to do. You don't do that to your mother. <laughs> well, you're right. Jackson's been a bad boy. Sounds like Mama needs to be consoled. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs>